Hi, thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be walking you through how to paint this wine glass using watercolors. To get started, you'll need red watercolor paint, some watercolor paper, a black pen, as well as a pencil. If you want to see more videos like this one, be sure to hit subscribe and hit the like button below if you enjoyed painting with me today. So it is time to get started. We're going to start by drawing out the wine glass. Um, you can use a, I have a mechanical pencil here, but any pencil will do. And we're just going to do a basic wine stem. So we'll just start with a small oval, kind of like a U shape. And then we'll make it slightly domed on top. And then we're going to draw a stem coming down. And then we'll have to draw the base. So base will come around in a circle and this wine glass is tipped over. So you want your circle to be on a tilt. small circle inside and then a smaller one or sorry a larger one just inside as well so it's pretty much just safe for the wine glass there we can go ahead and erase these pencil lines when we're all done but they're fine for now And then we're gonna have the wine follow a little bit of a shape like this and pour out. So we're gonna have some splashing, some drips, and then it's gonna pour down. All right, so first things first, we are actually gonna do the color of the wine in the glass because all of this is gonna be done with pen. So you wanna grab a brush. I like to use the Princeton, the angled brush. I find it gives me quite a bit of control. So we'll start by adding some clear water, just where the wine would go. And I have two shades of red that I'm gonna be using. You can use whatever red you have in your palette. If you have two shades, that's great. If you only have one, it can be a simpler, simpler piece. Whatever you have on hand is fine. So we're gonna add a sheen of water over top. And then what we're gonna do is take some bright red and add that near the top. thread here and then I'm going to take the darker red that I have and do that along the bottom I'm going to add quite a lot of depth to the bottom because that's where it would be darkest We're gonna draw some little drips now. Using some red, we'll draw some drips here. I'm gonna have this drip actually go down the page. So we're gonna go like this and, oops, that one kind of went crazy. I want it to go a little crazy, not too crazy. Maybe tell it where to go a little bit. So I'm gonna have my drip go like this. And using your brush, just have it taper off the drip line a little bit so it looks more like splashes. What I'm gonna do is take a little bit of water and just put it right here. And so you wanna have a bit of a pool of water right there. Then you take a bit of red and you stick it right there. And then we're gonna blow on the page. So this is where my head's gonna get in the way here, but I'm gonna blow and make it go kind of crazy. I like to have some of those come out a bit. I'm gonna do some more over here. And then some clear water ones. We're gonna blow in some of those too. 
this wine's kind of going all over the place, so I'll make some of these a little bigger. And then I'm going to take a little bit of pink and come in and add little touches of pink here. I'm actually going to break up a little bit of this line here so that it looks like the wine is going everywhere. Just some drips going down. And it's fun to do the drips at a bit of an angle too sometimes. So if you take your paintbrush and you hold it at an angle, they can actually splatter in the direction you want, kind of like that. And then if you take other darker red, it gives a bit of variation. Put some of those splatters on top. And then I'm gonna use some clear water over top and that'll vary some of them too. But we're gonna get rid of that clean line, I've decided, and have that wine really going crazy. And then darken it here at the base again. All the way up to here. And I'm going to take a bit of the dark. A few more splatters. And then just for a little bit of interest, I'll throw a little yellow up here. And so now we're going to let this dry up and what we're going to do when it's completely dry is darken all of these lines using some black pen. So we'll let this dry up a little bit and then we'll go from there. All right, so now that I'm back, we're going to do the outline of the wine glass just to show where it begins and ends create a bit more interest with the picture than just pencil lines. So I have a thin fine point sharpie here. Whatever black marker you have around works. Basically just outlining, defining where the wine glass begins and ends. pencil lines that are still there, you can erase them at the end. All right, just draw some scratches on here. Sometimes just drawing these little lines for shadowing can look nice. Just along the top. Varying lengths works really well. So just some shorter, some longer, just to show where it begins and ends. Right, so we'll just finish up around here. I'm gonna darken a few of the lines where I like them darker. And you can make this wine glass any shape you want. If you have a wine glass at home that you want to use as a reference photo, that works. And lastly, I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a signature. So this is just a fun piece of art you can create for your kitchen or wherever you like. You can look however you want. You can do white wine using yellows and beiges. I prefer red, so that's what I went with. 
So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, be sure to hit subscribe. And if there's anything else you want me to paint with you, just let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching.